like seven exceptions and bad habit are coming up here really soon we're stoked about that still don't know the map oh actually i looked over and we're going to be playing on bind today Ooh, nice that's so what we'll i'm talking about fake outs here or there if you guys don't know the format actually of the top 32 i believe it's going to be best of one the mm -hmm. whole way through until the finals which is actually a best of three so we'll have fast matches i think uh, single elimination plan. as well until that point yeah we like that we like that it's going to be nice and fast fast-paced gameplay and a lot of all these matches really matter to these teams so we're going to see some play some players really playing for that win because if they lose you know they're out they're out of here yeah and already we were talking about our agent uh preferences right now in terms of composition two extremely different ones an omen and raise on one side within the same meta of cypher sage and breach for seven exceptions but on bad habits we have a brim and a phoenix actually with a viper so we're gonna see a lot of different game styles on both attack and defense for now it looks like bad habits are gonna be moving over for a b long push this is the specialty of viper when it comes to taking sights on attack she can just separate things in half from such a far ways away and they're only going to have one person on site with a raise holding hookah. This might be a fast take for Bad Habit. Definitely. Bad Habit, it looks like they're pushing up pretty hard and fast, especially with that Viper wall up there. But you know what? They're going to quickly rotate onto Seaside and full run through showers because they know that some people have rotated towards B. The Sage wall is there to slow them down just for a little bit. Merg looking in third to find anything but there's also cypher traps the trap wire set up in showers now it's going to be a 4v4 right on side proxy picks up one cap dive backs and back up onto red cap the fault line's there but she's the answers it's a complete brawl on the site the spike is down mm -hmm. so they'll play for the post plan wow what a what a display here early early on in the game love these pistol rounds where people really put, punch in hot and heavy and it's a 1v3 but now it's a 1v2 with Ray's almost dying, but there it is. The satchel going out and the defusal for seven exceptions. Yeah, Proxy with a nice three piece to start, start things off, but Six Loretto tried to hold on. When it's planted for showers, it's really good when you have people posted up short. 2v1 though against the Ray's with uh, satchel charges is just not possible for that <laughs> clutch to come in. So they'll have a boost on the economy and then look forward to securing that second round as well. Wow. That was a solid first round. And you know what? We're just excited that we've got some games rolling. We got the bracket up. <laughs> we got we got people people shooting people. Oh, look, we got a it looks is that the uh, Cypher Sheriff that they got? Yeah, I think this is the uh, Cypher buddy with I think Sova's Sheriff wow. being used right now. They've been putting in some hours into the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking to clock things out. It's playing Viper though. And once again, defaulting near B, but we'll see if they do another A switch immediately. Already a fast rotation. You have to remember the defense or the defending side will have a boost on weapons. So even though they're smaller in numbers on this site, the firepower, you can see it with the specters, is going to be heavy handed. An Omen with a very close position on B long. We'll throw the smoke out to buy him time, but then get Cabbage playing Phoenix in a better position as well. Definitely. There's going to be a very interesting uh, thing whenever that uh, omen smoke goes down. Oh, and a satchel right on top of Capital's, or Capitai's face. Phoenix goes down. Six God goes down. And that is a 4v2 in the favor of seven exceptions. And it's that little bit of a fake going towards A. Might actually take some eyes to come all the way here. But they can dive right back into that teleporter and take B if they have the chance. They might. Will have to be seen though. Red Cap finds six Loretto stage on stage action. He tries to confirm the next one too. The sheriff shots are there, but don't land. Red Cap responds with another pickup, and that's a nice anti eco round over from seven exceptions. Ooh. Definitely. We'll see what kind of uh, what kind of guns they're going to start buying. Proxy's going to go for that Marshall. It looks like, and all of his abilities oh, as well. Nice um, you saw he's once. Cool. Uh, on the side of seven exceptions, the breach actually went on over through the teleporter and immediately used that aftershock just to kind of clear the space there in mid and give him some uh, breathing space there in mid so he can cross on over. So we'll see how they react again. Bad habit. Down. 0-2. Oh 
still not out of the match, though. Yeah, they got setups for Hookah. Nurk has to know exactly how to operate Viper. A lot of it is premeditated movements and setups. Raise Omen on B, though, is going to be a very interesting hold. They'll have a lot of smokes to use and utility from Raise, but that utility can run out. And Omen has 30 second timers on his. Here's Gullus, though, with the first Spectre elimination. And then after that, the double blast pack wow. to find another on the Capti's head. What a nice two piece. That was solid use of the satchel to be able to kind of get him worried about what's going on and their positioning and everything and was able to cap that headshot easily, almost without any retaliation. And it's actually impressive, too, because he's doing that against two Phantoms right now. Team Bad Habit has a full buy towards seven exceptions forced from the last round just to guarantee them the 2-0 score. This time it's going to be a lot harder to come back and try to get these gunfights won. And right now they have a short shower split towards A with the Lurker on B. In the sights of Brim, not having Brim here to take this on the offensive. Means no smokes. And there's going to be a missed spray from Cabbage. Drew actually finds six gods, so... Smokes be gone. It's gonna be clear skies here on the A site. Yeah. Ray is actually stuck in the slow. Six Reto picks it up, and then after that, just 13 seconds left. These guys need to get the spike down. They really do. But that was a huge capture by Cabbage and Six Reto. This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be painful for Cabbage. He wasn't able to find where he was <laughs> trip wired from, but he is taken out by Drew really quick. Someone's up in heaven. He's gonna take some shots. Six Reto is just trying to stay alive here. Uh, and he is blind. And Drew is going to take him out. Good use and good hold by the defensive side. Drew with another big 3K pickup. These guys only had submachine guns to start this off and then ended off with big rifles and a huge money swing in their favor. I feel like Bad Habit has to just save another round. They have to make sure they don't die to any cheese strategies after this one. We'll see what their hold is, but a good 3-0 lead against two teams that are actually performing really well. Yeah. Definitely performing well. I'm Gullis is actually leading the pack with a six and one with uh, a lot of econ. I mean, still, he's got 1500 left after all of his buys, but you know, he's been using those satchels to his advantage in all of these 1v1s or even 2v1s, and he's been winning those. So we'll see what he can do even after that. Looks like a full push on B long here. Omen's going to be there with a the smoke. Switching sides. Wow. Wow. And a two-piece, three-piece. Wow, and Drew's going to come in and clean it up. Are you kidding me? Yeah, the anti-eco setup. They know Gullis to peek over to Classics mid. Can just go up. All those guys only having sheriffs, saving guns. Not going to have too much of a chance. A nice hold down by Drew and Gullis on the B site. This is where the real action starts and actually gets difficult, though. That round might have been too easy due to the economy. It's going to be full guns on both sides the first time we see this. Mm -hmm. It's going to be very interesting. Definitely excited to see what Bad Habit has up their sleeves. It seems like some of these uh, eco rounds, they haven't been pulling through, but I have already seen some of their... You know, some, some of their um, shots, just like that. Capti is going to take out Proxa. As Phoenix moves through showers. Phoenix has been peaking these showers and kind of kind of uh, losing some of these fights. Ooh, he's got to back off there. <laughs> yeah, that raised defensive ultimate coming in fast. And I guess showers might just touch Phoenix a little bit, but not do too much damage. The trade they took before, though, was actually in the favor of Bad Habit as well. Or I think seven exceptions because their Sage player is down. Now Red Cap doing more damage than healing, taking out two in total, the Viper and the Phoenix player. Nerg is out. Cheesy coming back against Cap Tide, the Andrew Cragger. Not there, just one left. It's the Brim, Six God trying to find something, but it's not possible. And the defense just looks really strong here from seven exceptions side. Bad Habit can't find anything, but at the same time, haven't used any ultimates just yet try to secure a round although they are up or actually down five rounds this could be where they get that momentum shift they have a lot of money but the defensive side of seven exceptions has a big bank as well to draw from in case things go wrong yeah it looks like red cap's definitely been uh, saving his pennies there he's got ten thousand <laughs> uh, coins points dollars bucks left over <laughs> and <laughs> 
some shots early from Kaptai. There it is. Kind of positioning wasn't amazing there, but you know what? He's got some people moving. The Rolling Tide coming out from seven exceptions. Still have five ultimates on Bad Habit side. Yeah, defensive Rolling Thunder doesn't find too much, and he doesn't aggro off of it either from the defensive side. The bomb is still down. Right now, it's just going to be defaults on both sides. Cabbage picking up one working kill. Tries to find two from Showers, but just kind of doesn't have the aim or pre-aim from that spot. So yeah. it gets traded out. Now, just three people left over at defense. Two after. Nerd comes in and takes everyone off of B. Now, the A rotation has to come through, but there's a flank of the Sage, if possible. They have left Spike behind, so... It'll be a nice trek to get the spike actually planted on the site. Trek long enough for the defensive side to come up and have a say on the round. But there is a sage lurking. I think they know exactly where everyone is. No one can come through hookah. Everyone's focus is on that defensive spawn. Nerg possible 4k happening up in this round. The breach player very low. Proxy might just choose to save this gun for this round. Yeah, it's definitely the smartest move at the moment, especially with his econ being the lowest on the team. But he's going to peek anyways, and hopefully get a shot in. Woo! Going to try and get that kill through the gas, but is unable to. And there he is. He's taken out. Don't know why he peeked. Could have saved, but... <laughs> May as well try to do some economy damage because they are up so many credits compared to their... Opposition. They also have red cap, I believe, on the max 12,000. Still double gun rounds again, and because of their big bank, red cap now is on an operator. This team now with the long peaks is going to be very difficult, and yes, it will be pulled up at A. Now, this is a good spot because it just has a nice long angle on A short, but having it up on a sage on red cap, the good thing about it playing this safe position is that she can look up top where he can and get heals off on his whole a site team not use that much utility either so if they take the retake he'll have two slow orbs and a barrier to use that b right now though it's all on gullus looking for some preliminary action with his abilities and utilities there's the orbital strike coming for the first half of hookah might actually prompt a fast rotation from that op that's not now at heaven captai picks up another are they going to confirm onto b though the spike is still left so far behind. Up in elbow, there's an omen lurking. Cabbage Ooh. picks up another, and he's not watching the screen. Nerg picks it up once again, the second round in a row, where B control is there because of him. And that aftershock pushing Red Cap back cannot use the op. Six Oretto is going to hold back as well on a Ooh. perfect team flawless ace from Bad Habit. I said they just needed one round for that momentum. Now they're back up to, and they're trying to find that third. Yeah, and they definitely denied that op as well that's a huge buy that's 4500 right i do believe so it's yeah. 4500 yeah, for yeah. the operator so that's it's a huge buy on the side of seven exceptions and a huge deny from bad habit and a solid with the flawless as well so they don't really have to pay or uh, pay any money except for some of their abilities so that's a great place for them to be i think the orbital strike was the biggest expense of that round and it'll be easily built up once again as i think we saw the brimstone player get a few kills and pickoffs after he used it. They're not going to be switching up their defensive hold either. Seven exceptions. Still the raised and omen player playing towards the B side. Some teleports coming in to give the omen a bigger vantage point. As Cabbage looks around for some type of entry for Ag on B again. But they're playing super safe now. Up on A, Captai gets Gullus down. Gullus was so monumental. Had a lot of retakes. So now the side might be a lot easier to hold. A big trade coming out from Drew. But Nurg once again... The fourth round in a row, he's at elbow, controlling things, and it'll be another three-man retake with Cabbage holding the flank. What a solid display by Bad Habit. They definitely uh, got their feeler rounds out Welcome and see my, see what's going on with uh, seven exceptions. Trying to break down that wall from the teleporter. It's going to push through. There's two in Hookah, and Prox is going to take down Cacti in the middle of his <laughs> ability usage. It's always a sad moment. Ooh! Nurse gonna pick one up inside of his ultimate. And is that a wall banger there? No, no, I think Six God was on site, picked up another one, trying to play around Viper's smoke, Viper pit. Ooh. The biggest issue when that ultimate is down is you focus so hard on it, and there's other teammates up playing all the way around, uh, especially on their default positions. It's that much easier to pick up kills. And now, three rounds in a row, I think these guys finally found their pacing. I feel like the bank is broken on seven exceptions or this is their last shared buy. 
Mm -hmm. So we'll see exactly what goes down. Still full abilities on all sides. Now the ultimate balance is kind of towards the defensive seven exceptions. And they've actually switched the Sage player, Red Cap, over to B. But expecting this, Bad Habit has moved their entire force to a shower short split that they haven't done before. But in showers, the Spectre, close range, can pay as much damage as the Phantom that Nurg is switching up with. He's so good at these short angles. We slide over at Elbow. Yep. Capti still, once again, going to be trying to entry frag over at U-Haul. They're going to smoke off twice on the actual site, the slow orb. We'll ice them down as well and that Two wall charges. is not going to give them access that much to the a site big afterthought dodge by cap dies and respond with a fault line no a rolling thunder of his own splitting the site in half but he gets taken down by a sage cypher combo red cap with a big tap and there it is cheesy again on the left side they're holding things down but the better sage wins over at u-haul looking for more action the camera spots it though can't hide from that screen gullis tries to take it out no find six god now it's just six serato who gets a nice wall up on a boost, tries to find a shot, doesn't actually land a 1v3 situation. Wow. Taken out by Drew real quickly. Solid, solid use of all these abilities and everything. Lots of, uh, you know, walling off and sectioning off the site. So people are, you know, kind of closing off some of those rotations, closing off some of those angles. They can't, can't. You know, get those shots that they want, but you know what? Seven exceptions gonna take off on that one. Oh, he's uh, throwing stuff kind of everywhere, trying to get it over the barrier. It looks like. Yes, this should do. That was very interesting. <laughs> Can you get it over the barrier? I think over the barrier is possible on some angles on some maps, but over here, I don't think so. For uh. At least that specific spot. Merrick once again finding Drew. I think he's 6-0 up in this matchup. Wow. Whether it's B or A. Ooh, Capti's been right taking the list there. Yeah. Cabbage is going to be taken out by Proxy. But retaliation from 6 Reto. Going to throw that slowing orb there towards Lamps. And it's going to do the hard rotation over to B-Site. Going to try and help out against this Cypher, who's going to do as much as he can. Moving slowly over towards Elbow. Going to see if he can't get that angle down. But it this sounds it. like it's walled off. Yeah, it's actually unfortunate because this is exactly the place you wanted to have control. Bad habit, knowing that, though, the game sense is there. Push him back. There could be a chance for a boost, though, all the way on the top box if someone does jump up but no one's going to be there. It's the only place you can check. The camera, though, will give away his position here. So try to go for it, or at least get some influence of where everyone is. It actually breaks down the wall now. Fast action Ooh. comes in as he finds one on the cap. Or wow. cap die. Can't find the next. Nerd goes down. Cheesy. Oh, my God. Looking saucy, but it's too thick. Six Oretto comes in, denies from long. Good idea to go check that aggressively, but in that aggressive peak, Six Oretto has more time to line up the shot and then get the kill. And more rounds in his magazine, too. I think he only had one round left. He started reloading right when he got headshot at the end there, which was mega unfortunate. But you know what? That's the way it is. That's the way the game goes. We got a marshal over so there much. on seven ex exceptions. I feel like they just want some type of scope to hold way back in heaven. And although the marshal cannot actually one-shot the body if there is some type of armor on, if it hits the head... That's an instant kill, and at the same time, if it's no scoped, it's pinpoint accurate if you're not moving on your crosshair, and actually has a higher fire rate. So once things actually get a little bit heavy on site, Proxa can still move up and land down shots. Over here at B-Long, we'll see another two-man entry situation going on. We know Nerg's prowess when moving up in this corridor. Looks like he spotted he's someone. Just... Yep, pinpoint accuracy. I think he sees one at Metal Door, but he's actually not there. He's going to be under Hookah. So it might be an actual bad pre-aim angle, but they're just waiting patiently for any type of rotation. Usually, every time there's a utility thrown, there's a repositioning of individuals, but the Rays player and Omen will hold tight Nerg still 
looking for it though cap now so close spots the head this is where nurik and cabbage will have to move Ooh. a big showstopper from him though as he gets taken out and traded one ultimate for one kill as they have the site now omen has to play this out in his smokes in elbow actually on the back side trying to pressure off the brim smokes are there red cap gets the revive on the gullus as well cabbage is there to stop it but no red cap my lord has the shots off the self molotov going down to six god as he missed times his utility with six reddos boost and suddenly a take that looks so promising, so well denied, both by Sage, Brimstone, and the Omen hold on B. Wow. What a solid rotation move. I don't know why Six God is continually to, or continuing to really commit to the B push, but it looks like he's going to start rotating somewhere, and it looks like a save. Yeah. There's no chance with that little time left, usually on each map. It takes a long amount of time to rotate when you're doing it normally. You take the teleporters, it's telegraphed, so it's impossible. Already had a cypher on the site. Smart save, but the money now looking kind of dreadful over here. Actually, no, they have people to buy for. Six Loretto has a huge bank on the attacking side. Yeah. Defense, though, really needs this round. If they don't win this, they're going to have a very poor economy. Definitely, definitely. Especially with that 240 on Red Cap. But you know what? Red Cap's been doing some work here. Especially uh, from that heaven spot, but this time he's going to be uh, try stacking on B. We've got a bunch of people. Omens in his favorite spot there, over by elbow, that little garden area there, peeking, trying to do the peek, throwing in a smoke. But it looks like there's going to be a rotation back towards Hookah and short. Yep. Huge split this on bad up. habit. Yeah, they haven't done this before. I think this is their secret default strat, having complete control of the map, but giving it up at B long. That'll actually tell exactly where people can be for over peaks or aggressive shots from Proxa side, at least on showers. Giving that up now, their hold up to short, have to commit, knowing that Six of Reddo, where I think it's Red Cap, throws out his slow orb to slow things down at a short. Now Proxa after shocking as well. They've read exactly what the attacking side what to want to do, but maybe paying a little bit too much attention to the words on the books as Captai gets a head pop off near U Haul. Then goes off to the right, no one in heaven, no one at big box, no it's Cypher all the way at the back, looks for some few shots, but ultimately backs up, waits for the rotate, there's the trap wire, getting frog, and from the close side, Revcap finds one, Cheesy finds the next, the synergistic peak from both, the timing, so pinpoint accurate, and a missed spray by Six wow. God, oh my lord. Ending up with Drew a wall banger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some nerves maybe coming in, 8-4, they needed to, you know, not really win that round for Econ, but at least the... Uh, boost off because we will be switching sides here i think once that round locks in that's another clutch situation he's in i think he's the last in all the time the brimstone player being in that position will always have opportunities to have smokes play off of them because he knows exactly where they are but if your player can't have stone cold veins and not hit those free sprays yep. you're going to be losing a lot of rounds definitely and i have been noticing a couple of things here and there cabbage has been kind of pushing up really really hot and heavy and uh, not a mm -hmm. uh, not pulling through on some of those pushes that he's been doing. So uh, I hope he kind of tightens it up and uh, really hits those angles and really hits those shots, especially against seven exceptions coming up hot in uh, an attack around. And one there thing about that, though, is that Nurg is always there to pick it up. And right now they're both going to be playing the same site. So I think that that synergy will prove dividends for these guys. They're going to be facing two people long. Misses the first shot, but connects with the second. After that, Drew trades a mountain. Cabbage is alone to hold Hookah as the entire team has control almost of the site. Now that is a kill that that Omen is feeling good about. <laughs> He's been uh, getting capped by Zerg every once in a while, and, or a lot actually, and uh, yeah. he was able to return the favor there. Oof, Capti is gonna hit him with that headshot. Phoenix is still gonna be in hookah. He's gonna have a huge angle on these people right now. He's gonna take one out. Gonna hit some shots on Proxy. He's got 13 health left, and he's gonna be taken out by Capti, and that is a loss for seven exceptions. And these pistol rounds, man, are going both ways in the beginning. A few picks here and there, but after that, the defensive side on both halves, I believe, just wraps it up. You have to still be playing with the time. There was about 40 seconds left in that round. These guys had to easily swung all the way back to A. Choose to commit though, but could not land their shots. Accuracy is so important when you're playing with speed. They don't find it now. The default actually switching up two people over at Hookah. They know this is going to be an eco round. The goal here just to get as many kills and at least that and the least damage dealt to you as possible. With five classic of hopes, these guys have some SMG. Two flashes being traded back to back. Cheesy going in a five man push. 
that have an ice orb actually not getting placed at the right place there off of the teleporter. Inside hookah though, acid pits. Cabbage by himself, the first spray, the second lands. But Gullis is there with the sheriffs, and then Croxe is there as well to wrap things up. The full rotate as they have the site. They'll have two weapons to use as well in the form of specters and SMGs. Ooh, that was a that was a good position for that aftershock, but he was unable to do anything with it. Gonna put in the flash here. He's gonna see if he can't hit anybody, and he does. Capti is gonna take out Proxy. He's stuck in the corner flash. Capti is gonna get another one on Golis, and that's actually a huge pick for seven exceptions or uh, bad habit. My bad. Woo! <laughs> the side switch can sometimes get tongue twisty, but these guys <laughs> have three people up. Drew just has the classic. A nice eco round for these guys to come in and try to get things done. They do get the spike plan off as well, so that'll be a nice boost to the economy, the money. The and creds, extra 300 that creds. Has. Yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that extra 300 actually comes in pretty clutch, especially when you're down a little bit and you just want to get some abilities. Have a save round. Kind of huge, especially when you have those breaches and the smokes from uh, Brimstone. Ooh, an early aftershock here. Risky though. Yeah, he very. Was, could have been someone up there on boost. He just walks straight in. <laughs> yeah. Not a care in the world, Proxy. These guys are good anchors on defense though, so should, they should know the order of operations and coming into a site and exactly where people should be playing. They had some nice breakdowns on defense this time though. The counter boost coming in. Proxy will be the one to entry. Doesn't actually find it. Cicerato there. With a pre aimed cross, uh, cross here, knows exactly where that boost will come from. Guesses correctly. After that, gets another on the cheesy. Some good defense out of Cixaretto. Just two players left. Have to double back from showers now. Spike down, I think, on top of that Sage Wall. It'll be so hard to get. Drew, I think, might be the only one to be able to jump here and get it. Red Cap actually finds one pick on an over rotated cabbage, one on the flank from yeah. the long. And now Viper is the only player available. Nerd on the edge side of B on the back of the site. And now everyone's moving in fast. It'll be a 3v1. How many can he take out this distance with the Spectre? It's gonna be very difficult. He has a few acid pools. It's a jump peak shot there. It is. Dodges it, talks to screens up, gets one out of it. That's a spike. The second could have been an omen teleporting over, but no, he's coming at hookah. There's oh, wow. a second one nerd stopping the big push. And now Drew has to get the spike planted, but also defend oh, against three spike. different opponents getting breach flash. 13 seconds left, it looks dire. Unable to do it. Looked like the nerves kind of got hit there. Especially in that 3v1 situation. Gotta keep that level head, but you know what? He's still throwing out some good shots. And uh, there's a pretty pretty even sp spread of, uh, you know, kills and everything here. Six God and Cheesy kind of on the lower end, but you know what? They've been doing some work. Especially with those abilities, keeping it hot. Cheesy with the with the huge actually uh trip wires. Those have been really throwing uh bad bad habit off, I do believe. Yeah. Been yeah. throwing them off a lot. And uh they've gotten a few kills because of that trip wire. And the trap wire there being put in new positions every time, but at the same time being forced into the same ones makes it very difficult. But right now, hearing the footsteps, Cabbage will know where to be, but then Drew trades them out. These guys have never doubled up on the same side of long before, so Nerg will have an advantage if Surprise gets it. Rolling Thunder comes through to knock everyone up, but Nerg is not there to capitalize from it. Capti, though, acts himself. A nice anti-eco round. He picks everything up. Cost of an ultimate, though, so... It'll be exactly what I think seven exceptions wanted. We're now 8-8 eight, eight tied. A game that was being ran away from on the defensive side. Now evened up from that same side as well. Bad habit, seven exceptions. Just a few more rounds to go. That ultimate was solid. How many people did he hit with that? I think that was three people he hit. And he was able yeah, to capitalize on it as well. Yeah. Huge. It's good to know, like, when it's an eco round, to actually not hesitate and spend it. Yeah. Because it's better than trying to take peaks against sheriffs and classics. So, good call there for Proxy. Solid call indeed. And they're going to be doing eye, this. Yeah, uh, yeah capped eye. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, nice hookah long split here. Definitely checking those corners. Um, Cheesy was uh, kind of rolling in hot there. But he. Made it out with his life there. 
Nurg pulling out that location dart. There's lots of stuff being thrown around. Lots of abilities. Yeah, they're already fast long. One person is so Ooh. close. Nurg with a nice spray transfer. The Phantom now. You're going to be seeing the prowess of it. Another one with the 3k. The fourth coming in. My Lord Nurg. Can you get the ace on this defensive side? A showstopper, but this man has all the audience watching him. He's looking for anything at the very end of this. Raze is there at long. Can he wrap it up? Has the ultimate, but I don't think he's going to use it this round. It's Six God that picks it up. And Nurg, with the best close position on site, catches everyone with their pants down and picks things up. Finds an op as well. And now these guys are finally pulling ahead. Bad habit with nine rounds. Wow. What a display of... Just like you said, some prowess on that phantom. Doing those spray transfers, getting those headshots. Wow. 4K yeah. for Nerg. That's like the main difference, I think, between the Vandal and the Phantom. Vandal is very good for those entry frags, the long range fights, but when you're defending against multiple people almost instantaneously, the Phantom is just so good. The rate of fire, the transfer, the closer spread of spray. A very good weapon to have on the defensive side. You'll notice that a lot of players will choose on the offensive to have Vandals right here, both the Cypher and the Breach. Proc say have one in tow. If you can't afford it though, the Spectre is the best place to be at. Gullus will be in first, has the Showstopper, chooses actually to fake it out. A five-man teleport going over to Hookah. Can they stop this? A Molotov there to split up the team, but everyone pushes straight through. Now five people out there waiting for it. Nurg in a spot again. Can he deny the Showstopper? No, it finds Cabbage, but wow. then... With a Vandal, doesn't matter what it is, Nurk still finds two. Six got to pick it up after him again. A showcase of exactly how things went down last, last round, being repeated once more. And now Six Aretto with that operator will try to look for a peek on site. Red cap off the smokes. Gets a few revives up, but they're there to answer that. And now it's just up to the Omen player himself, Drew. But he gets up down all the way there at elbow. And what a nice comeback from Bad Habit. So many rounds won back to back to back and now we're just three away to get that victory two away from the match point man i can't believe the turnaround between the beginning when it was five and oh on seven exception side and now look at this it's a 10 to eight on the side of bad habit and they have been really tightening really tightening their defenses honestly they've been really hitting their shots they're getting those angles down they're actually kind of reading right when seven exceptions are going to be coming out and uh they're they're using everything to their advantage that's for sure and the best thing they're doing right now is just playing off of each other they know exactly where people are buying enough times for teammates to rotate if that's not the game plan then bad habit has a nice strategy to double up in positions and let the second player usually nerd pick up a lot of defensive kills on its side now they're rolling thunder though Nurg will not be able to aim. They know exactly where he is as well as he's in the origin of that Viper Pit. The Orbital Strike coming in, though. The combination of the Decay. It's chaos here on the B site. And they can't see exactly what's going on. Nurg has those goggles, though. This is his pit, his home. And he finds two to wrap up that round. A lot of ultimates used. A big investment, but a good return for Bad Habit as they find another round in a row in this top 32 bracket. They're looking really good on this defensive side. Wow. What a perfect defensive use of that ultimate from Nurg. And uh, is able to pick up a lot of kills there. And uh, their econ's actually looking fantastic. Real good on the side of yeah. Bad Habit. Still not too bad on seven exceptions, but they've had a couple of rounds that they've uh, bought big and uh, did not have the return they wanted. Not only that, they invested big on ultimates that round. The Rolling Thunder was exactly what they needed to have that momentum shift. Another jump spot comes out. It's going to be impossible for them to come back just through pure aim is my call because so far they have not found any success. A big jump up there to actually get Nerd distracted. Can't track it. Cabbage there this time to pick it up. Is this his moment of defense? He gets blocked off by the dark cover coming out from Omen. They have no offensive ultimates just available right now. Just the Neural Theft from Cypher. It's gonna be blocked off again as we saw before on the other side. And this time Capti finds Red Cap in a cheesy spot. The spike is down about 26 seconds left before he gets defused or blown up. Drew finds one proxy with the next. 
Is this the comeback they need? No, Cicerito is there to stop it. Has vision through the scope and a big Rolling Thunder investment to rock things up as well. As Cicerito drops his op, finds the next. It's just one player. I think all the way over at long, it's Cypher looking for something. No, he's on site. Cheesy finds one. Woo! He's now locked in with two, but Cap die can capitalize off of it as well. Finally gets that defuse too. Now we're at match point. This game wrapping up and Bad Habit is running away in the races. Wow. There was a lot of big talk from Seven Exceptions side and they have actually followed up on a lot of that talk, but this time Bad Habit is really pushing hard and they do not want to be eliminated in this single elimination bracket. Wow. Huge displays of defense on the side of Bad Habit. Especially Nurg and Captai hitting those shots. Being really good with uh, those headshots and tracking. And uh, that's, been, uh, that's been fun to watch for sure. Yeah, their setups on angles I think are the best. They have like three different options right now. They're exploring the one where I think Nurg usually goes for that jump spot all the way up at the back side of B. Then after that, Cabbage has this nice elbow hold. They see Nurk first, get distracted, and then Cabbage picks everything up from the side. So kind of a little bit of a snake dance up from the Viper player there. It's such a distract. solid positioning, like you were just saying, yeah. because it has such a good pincer move from elbow and that little cubby on the side of B site. So it's been it, that's been really cool because they've been playing off each other, just like you said, and hitting those shots. This time they'll play around the conditioning though. They'll expect Cabbage all the way over on the left side. Don't find him right now. Dulles looking to actually take advantage of the Viper ball. Doesn't. Nerd finds three again from the cheeky spot he's used twice. This is match point, so it'll wow. have to be a clutch out of Gullis, but it's not. It's Cabbage who picks up the final one with a quick rotation. And now we rotate out of this map as we see Bad Habit find their momentum. A flawless round to finish it. They get the win, and that's the first round of our top 32 over. What a beautiful win by Bad Habit. Thank you, Seven Exceptions, for being fantastic and giving us a show for sure. But definitely Bad Habit had their sights on the win and took it for themselves. What was your favorite part of that round?